Hi friends, oh, welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be something completely different. I am going to be cleaning and uh, organizing my storage space and this storage space is attached to my house. I always do this at the beginning of spring because uh, during fall and the winter season I don't pay too much attention to this space. I get out the stuff that I need and I just throw it back in. As you can see there is no walking space so I have to clear this out every year now this year i'm going to start this project of uh, redoing this space as well because i am going to be painting the floors i also want to paint the walls but that will be a project for another day because it is just way way too much work but first i'm gonna start by clearing out the space completely let's just dive into this video I know this looks like total chaos, but it's really not that bad. All the stuff in the back are my seasonal decor for Christmas, fall and spring. You can see some empty boxes that I'm going to be using for more of decluttering indoors. And all the stuff on the left are my seasonal stuff for the yard, such as my decor and my pool stuff. So it is really not that bad, but it's just not organized right now. I purchased this outdoor storage box last year because I needed some storage for all my Christmas gardens and my little Christmas trees. I love that it has wheels so I can move it around easily and the soft open and close lid for easy access. Now you guys, I was feeling so bad this morning that I didn't do my workout, but here I am lifting these tiles at 25 kilograms a piece. They are for the feet of my umbrella. As I said, every year I do clean and reorganize the space and when I'm cleaning, one of the things I dislike the most is sweeping the floors because all this dust is coming off and that is the first thing I wanted to change in this space. So I'm going to start this year by um, painting this floor and first I did sweep it completely and then I'm going to go in with an old mop and I'm going to mop the entire floor just to collect all the dust. Okay, you guys, I am ready to start painting the floor now. And don't you just hate it when you think that you have everything on hand and it shows that you don't. So let me show you. So I have a bunch of painting supplies here, as you can see, and I wanted to use one of these larger rolls. Now I only have this one and this is smaller, as you can see. So I am thinking, should I go out and run and get me some new one? Just one of these larger because this one doesn't come off. So I can use this larger one and be quicker and uh, finish this paint job quicker. But I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to go with this one anyway. If I have to run out to the store, then um, it's going to take me at least, I think, uh, 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, I should be halfway done here with the small one. So I'm going to do it with the stuff that I have and I'm going to show you the paint that I'm going to be using. So this is the paint. It is a floor paint, as you can see, and it is in the gray color. So it is going to be, I think, darker in here because the floor is kind of light. But anyway, I, uh, I, it is water-based and I'm not using this heavy duty except for rolling in my motorcycle and rolling it out. So I think it should be enough. But anyway, um, it said on here that it's for in and out. After an hour, you can touch it at 20 degrees Celsius and after four hours, you can repaint it. And you have to use it at a minimum of 10 Celsius. I don't know about that. I just think I'm going to be using it and I'm going to, it is now 1 p.m. So I'm going to be uh, doing the floor, painting the floor and I hope to be finished at uh, 2, maybe 1.45. And then I'm going to wait for two hours, see how it dried. And then I'm not going to go over it again if I have to do a second coat. But I do think I want to do a second coat just to have a good coverage. So I'm going to start painting.
First, I'm gonna start by doing all the corners with this large brush and I'm gonna do the entire perimeter of the storage space and you guys you see that I didn't remove the two shelving units that I have and I was really too lazy to do that it is so much work just to get all that stuff out and to do uh, that small piece of floor underneath it so I decided to go all the way around it and you don't see it anyway so yeah why bother other. <laughs> let me tell you preparation is always have to work already you guys it turned out that i didn't even have a large paint tray i only had some small ones so i decided to make one with this lid that i had and cover it with a plastic bag And this is what it looks like after one coat. I did patch up some spots over there. And um, yeah, I should have done that earlier, just uh, going over it really well instead of doing just one quick coat because I think it looks really, really good. So I don't think I'm gonna do a second coat. I'm just gonna see about that because now it is um, 220. So it took me, I think, a little less than an hour i don't remember an hour or something like that but i think it is looking really really good and um what i should have done is like fill up these cracks but you guys i am so lazy like i said i didn't even want to remove those so i worked around them so maybe a project for another time maybe next year or the year after that i will be uh, filling up the cracks and maybe giving it, giving it another coat as well as the walls because i still do want to paint the walls but i'm not going to be doing that uh this year so i just wanted basically i wanted to have the floor done and have it all freshened up so i managed doing it with all the stuff that i had so i think it went really well and really quick so now i'm gonna let it dry i think maybe for uh three hours maybe it said on the can it has to dry for four hours if you have to do a second coat now i don't gonna do a second coat so i'm gonna let it dry for three hours and then i'm going to start moving the stuff back in so yeah let's go and let it dry and get something to drink i waited about an hour to let the floor dry and i decided since it was touch dry i would go in and save me some time it was getting later in the afternoon because i started this project a little bit late but i decided to save some time and start cleaning and reorganizing all the stuff that i have here on the shelves now you will see that i already have a lot of storage bins here but my ultimate goal is to get everything into storage bins just making it easier on myself it is so much better to have them in bins instead of loose on the shelves when you want to clean this space. Just last year I decided to reorganize this space because I really felt I wasn't utilizing it to its maximum potential so I decided to hang up some shelves here as well now this space is really cluttering and that's why I want to find some storage bins here just to store away and to organize all the loose stuff that's lying here So 
so you guys this is how far i've gotten and i have to say i only did uh, the shelves here as you can see i have some room spare but um i still need to get everything back in as you can see now on top here i didn't do anything because um actually to be honest i am uh, really exhausted so uh yeah this is uh what i'm gonna be doing for today and the rest i'm gonna take care of i think another day so uh yeah i like i said i am really exhausted and it is now uh 5 p.m so i was planning to move everything back in at 5 30 and well the floor is dry i think it is touch dry well actually it's dry enough to go over a second coat and i said i'm not going to do a second coat so i'm going to start moving all the stuff back in and then i'm going to wrap it up for uh today and maybe later on in the summer i might do the other parts um, up the shelves but for now i am done so i'm gonna get the stuff back in and then i'm gonna call it quits oh my gosh you guys the paint had made such a big difference already i felt the broom gliding over the floor making it so easy to sweep and there was no dust coming off whatsoever next i am going to put everything back inside and it is always a challenge just like a big puzzle trying to fit everything and optimize the space as much as possible before i put everything back inside i'm gonna roll my motor back into its place now that is one of the reasons that i have to do this every spring you guys i need the space to be free of clutter so every time i want to roll out my motorcycle it is free i can roll it in and out whatever i want So I am almost done with putting everything back. I just want to show you quickly how everything is looking like. I still need it to do a couple of more things. I need to put them back, but it is going to rain uh, really soon. I think I'm going to show you what the sky is looking like right now. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it totally closed up. We only have um, overcast now. so yeah the sun is gone so yeah i'm gonna show you uh how i put everything back and here is the finished result now you might think whoa there's still, still a bunch of stuff and yeah you're right because a lot of this stuff what is here are seasonal stuff so a lot is for the summer that will have to come out for instance i got this last year i still need to install it to um, use it as storage space i got a bunch of stuff there that are some projects i need to do i got some empty planters that i need to fill and of course all my outdoor decor that i have here that is going to go out and some projects that i have here and here but anyway this is what the space is looking like oh yeah let me show you these are like these really cheap um, faux grass <laughs> you see that this one even got um, became blue because of the sun but i use those uh, underneath my pool so these will these will go out uh, as well when the summer comes or at least when we get some sunshine but anyway it i have some moving space and i am glad that i can because now i can take out my motorcycle for a spin if i want to so that was my main goal for today to make this space free so i can roll my bike in and out and i'm going to quickly put it back on the charger this is a battery charger charger so that i can uh, start it up when i have to otherwise uh, the battery will uh, run empty but anyway, you guys, that's it. 
so i'm going to wrap this up thank you so so much for watching i hope i could have given you some inspiration or some motivation to uh declutter well not declutter is more of a cleaning up of your storage space this is something i have to do like every year at the beginning of uh spring but spring you guys it was fall it was fall all the way through we had a lot of rain a lot of hail we had snow we had just about everything so i was so happy that today was a good day so i could do this project now again thank you so so much for watching and i see you again in my next one really really soon until then always remember to live laugh and love and stay safe bye